Cheers, mates, and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. So, the other day I was talking to Dan Gauguin, and he was asking me, we were talking about food, he was asking me, had I ever tried piccalilli? And I had to admit that, I, no, I hadn't. I'd been to the UK, uh, you know, a few times, but uh, but for some reason I, I can't recall ever having had, had piccalilli. So, I decided that I was gonna give it a try. And what it, it turns out that it's a, it's a condiment, and so I was thinking it's you know something that you eat like a stew or a side dish or something, but it's really a condiment. It's meant to be put on something else. So typically, you it's something you would find maybe served with a plowman's lunch, which is basically like a cheese and onion sandwich, something along those lines. Um, I got uh, two different varieties, and the reason that I got two different varieties, this, this is the one that he had recommended, but uh, but I did see this one. It's a little bit different, and they can vary. Some of them have chunkier vegetables. Uh, this one has mustard. This one does not have mustard in it. Some of them have malt in it. Different, uh, different ingredients and in different, uh, different ones. Some of them have chunky vegetables. Some of them are smooth. Um, really, essentially, what it is is the English version of Indian pickle. So, if you remember, we did an episode a little while back of uh, Indian lemon pickle, and uh, and so this is basically the the you know the British equivalent of that, where they've taken that and they've uh, they've kind of you know done their own play on it. I, um, I don't know if it has the exact same things as Indian pickle. I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, so so it's called pickle. Um, this one is uh, is just called Piccalilli pickle, and uh, this one isn't called Piccalilli at all. It's just called it, the brand brand is Branston, which has been around since 1922. This is the original one. Um, Heinz uh, Heinz has been around since the 1800s, and Heinz is based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But they have a huge following in the UK. For instance, uh, the most popular brand of beans in the UK is Heinz. So Heinz Heinz products, you find a lot of Heinz products uh, in the UK. So what we decided, and this is after talking to the um, the woman at the shop where I bought it. So there is a restaurant here in the LA area in Sherman Oaks. It's called the Robin Hood Pub, and then next door. Uh, there's a place called the Friar Tuck Shop, and it's a small grocery where you can get a bunch of British, different British goods, and that's where I got these too. So I'm asking the woman, well, you know, what would you serve it with? And she says, uh, oh, you could serve it with a pie, it'll be lovely. I, it's like if I do my, my, my female British accent, I, I always want to slip into like a, you know, Graham Chapman kind of, you know, like a, but I don't like spam! But I'm not going to do that. So, um... So she suggested to serve it with a pie. And when I say a pie, I don't mean like a fruit pie. I'm talking about a meat pie. Uh, so I got this steak and mushroom pie, and basically um, the, uh, it's, it's frozen, and it, I, mean, I don't know if it's pre-cooked or partially cooked, but the ingredients say to uh, brush it with egg, put it in the oven for about half an hour on 350, and then it's ready to eat. So I have this steak and mushroom pie. I have some cheddar cheese, which you would typically serve with that. And then we're gonna have a little bit of the pickly. And I decided that, you know, for a fine meal like this, we ha also have to have a nice beer or ale to go with it. So I have Young's Double Chocolate Stout. And uh, it's actually brewed with real chocolate. So we're gonna have that to kind of sip along with it. I thought the, the, the chocolate in the beer and, and the fact that it's a stout that has some sweetness to it will uh, complement the cheese, which will complement the pie, which will complement the pickles, and we'll have a nice little, uh, little feast here. So uh, let me go ahead and pour this. Ooh, that is dark. And I'll put a little bit of the pickle on the plate. You can smell a little bit of vinegar, but it also has some other, like, kind of strange smells. That's really thick. It's almost like uh, there's molasses in it or something. So there's some of the dark and murky one. Let's lick this spoon. Ooh. You can definitely taste the vegetables there. It has a really unusual taste. I've got, like Not like anything I've ever had. It has a pucker to it as well. Almost tastes like plums. And then this is the one. This has mustard in it, which explains the bright yellow color.
Not much of a smell there. Oh yeah. And you can taste the mustard. It's really tart, puckery. So, there we have it. I'll take a little piece of pie, some cheese, some pickle lily, a little some beer. All right, let's go ahead and cut us some pie. Nice flaky crust. So, kind of new with this. I want to get some crust in there. I want to get some of the pie, some of the pie filling in there. Let's just, let's try the pie first, a piece of the pie first, and then we'll try it with the piccoli and see what that adds to it. Mmm. That's a nice savory pie. really nice. All right, so let's try, um, I'm gonna try the, the sweeter one first. I might resort to using a spoon. Mm. Mm hmm, mm-hmm. The vegetables in there are really crunchy. And it's really tart and tangy. My cheese, obviously cheddar. Piece of cheese. It's really nice. And everything complements itself, each other, really well. So, let's try another piece here, and we'll do the mustard pickle lily. See what that's all about. It's falling all over the place. I'm not sure if this is the order, this is the way you eat it, but that's how we're doing it. Yeah, definitely taste the mustard in there. Wow. That's a nice condiment. I don't know if there's anything I can think of that you would put that on that's not traditional to put that on like... I'm going to try putting that on a hot dog. Seeing how that is, I'm gonna be, that would, I think it would be good on a hot dog, especially the mustard one. Well, this is really good. So, if you're in the UK, you're all set. If you're not, um, any large specialty grocery will probably have this or have the pickle lily. Um, the meat pie, meat pie should be relatively easy. It doesn't have to be a British-made meat pie. It should be easy to find. Cheddar cheese. Get yourself a nice beer that goes along with it. I'm going to go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. Big thumbs way up. So, um, yeah, pick Lily. Thank you, Dan, for suggesting it. Uh, now, I, next time you ask me, I can say that I've tried it. So, uh, big thumbs up on that. Give it a shot. Pick Lily. Remember, it's crazy out there. So, take care of yourselves. Take care of other people. Be careful. And we'll see you soon. Cheers, mate. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.